Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just here at Anthony Costello Automotive here in Canberra, and we're just here to do a review and a bit of a test on the new Maha uh, safety test lane. So this is a, a, a safety test machine that you can modulize and add things to it. But this particular one here, we're doing particular things. The first thing it runs over is the plate slip tester or drag tester. So it's basically checking the slip and drag on the vehicle, which it's already done as it's driven over. Second tester here, first up, it'll look at uh, weight of the, of the vehicle. So it's comparing right and left hand weight at, uh, of the vehicle, but also it's doing the suspension tester. So we'll start to now test the shock absorbers on the car and, and we'll start to collect details. You can see it's starting to shake there now. So it's testing the, the uh, shock absorbers and that will increase uh, the duration and, and you know, the uh, severity of the, of, the, of the test. And that'll pick up on the report that we'll get up shortly. So it's done both right and front left brake testers. And the last one it rolls up to is the brake tester itself. So we'll roll in. First up, it'll check for any sort of uh, uh, drag, etc. Uh, on the wheel, it'll start to spin the wheel up uh, to check uh, that it's all running correctly. Uh, it will then spin up even harder and then we'll start to apply the brake. It will then check the braking of the vehicle. In the meantime, it's also checked for uh, disc variation, a uh, disc thickness variation on the car. So it also checks that as well. So it's just a, a full test there on the front brakes. We're now gonna roll through and do the same on the rear. So slip or drag on the rear of the vehicle. Again, back onto our weight. So we're now going to check the weight of the vehicle, uh, on, of the vehicle, both sides. And now it's going to do the same shock absorber test again uh, on the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, this is all happening pretty quickly. It's about a two or two and a half minute test, all up, and the report you get back is, is quite uh, uh, extensive and very, very good uh, communication talk to your customer. So once we're going through the rear suspension test there, and then we're going to roll forward and then finally do the rear brakes, as it finalizes the uh, shock absorber test there. We'll then roll through and go to the uh, rear brakes. So first up, it'll check the actual rear braking. Uh, again, it'll check the roll of the, of the vehicle and make sure it's all, all correct. It'll then spin up and we'll do the braking of it. Last up after that, we'll also check the park brake. So if you've got electric park brake or mechanical park brake, it'll fix that up and, and, and compare that as well. Once that's all completed, then we'll have a full test on it. What I like about these machines is it's not invasive. We've done a whole series of tests on the car uh, and we haven't really pulled anything apart or have, have to take it on the road if there's a dangerous condition. So non-invasive diagnostics, this is what it's all about. Using this equipment, this modern high-tech equipment to actually have a look inside the car. A great positive for your customer to give your customer that so, some sort of report. Have a look at the report that comes on, on the vehicle. We go up to the uh, main boot here. You'll have the thing on it, but the main report that comes out for this particular vehicle, first up it'll check the slip or the drag of the car, it'll then check the shock absorbers front and rear, give you full comparisons, it then does the front axle, rear axle, parking brake, etc. and also the disc thickness variation on the front rotors. So again, very expensive test. Again, these are the sort of things you should be handing to your customer and making sure that they're aware if there is a problem, you can at least highlight it. You can then do the test after you've done the repairs, so you've got validation of your repairs, which is fantastic. If the car's in good nick, fantastic. You can say, all healthy, fantastic. We've now got that information. Next time they come back, the, those comparisons can be compared to the previous one. So you've got some DNA of their vehicle and you can then compare it next time the car comes in again. So fantastic value. Most workshops that fit this sort of equipment, they've got a fee that they put on for that sort of thing. So basically the equipment pays for itself. It's a money maker for you. Uh, and again, the information you can get from it. This system is actually a very modulated one. It's all it's made in Germany, it's top quality, but you can get headliner liners, you can get emission testers, you can get dynos, you can get all sorts of things that add to the system uh, as you grow and as the technology becomes more and more available. So it's something that maybe you should be looking at. If you're interested to get more information have a look on the link that we've got below the video or contact Maha themselves and they'll be able to run you through some more of the intricacy. We've just done a quick little test of it, showed you some of the capabilities of it, there's much more to it. Uh, if you're interested, as I say, see Maha. But again, another piece of equipment, fantastic for non-invasive diagnostics. See you next time.